Welcome to Align Books. We are happy to have you on board. In this Help Studio tutorial, we will explore the Vendor Master setup options. In Vendor Master, we set up the individual vendor profiles. This setup is normally a one-time process required at the time of the new vendor edition. Once created, vendor data is extensively used to capture, generate and auto-generate the required reports like purchase bill, purchase order and many more in a desired format. The key functions of a vendor master module are creation of a new vendor record, modification of an existing vendor record, deletion of an existing vendor record. We will be going through each set of information in detail. New vendor creation. From the purchase drop down, you will need to select vendor and the screen which appears and looks like this. You can see the new vendor option at the top right of the screen. Click on this option. Here you will have seven sections where all the relevant data pertaining to a new vendor can be captured. We will start with basic first. 1. Basic. Name. Here you input the name which you are using to identify your vendor. Print name. Here you put the vendor name which will be used in printing documents. Code. This is a system generated automated code to uniquely identify a vendor. You may also input a six digit alpha or numeric code. Under ledger. Select the required control general ledger in which the vendor is to be grouped, for example Sundry Creditors account. You can even create one from the plus. Is sub party. Select on if you want to link the new vendor to an existing group or vendor. This will allow you to analyse multiple vendors as one group. Under Party. If the subparty is kept on, then select from the drop down the required party or group with which you want to identify the vendor. Inactive. Select on if you want to make a vendor inactive. You can reactivate the vendor again by selecting off. Firm status. Select the constitution status of the vendor. Example, individual, company, etc. Territory. Select the required territory based on which you want to group your vendor. You can create a new territory by clicking on the plus option. You can even leave blank if you do not wish to associate the vendor with a territory. Party category. If you have classified your vendors in different categories, select from the drop down list a category on which you want to identify your vendor. You can create a new category by clicking on the plus option. You can even leave blank if you do not wish to associate the party with a category. Contact person. Input here the relevant contact person. This is normally the vendor representative. Logo or photo. Upload an image of the vendor or a logo of the company or its trademark or any specific identification which helps you to maintain the unique vendor identity. Images could be JPEG or PDF with the maximum size of 2 megabytes. Billing information. Address. Input here the complete address of the vendor from where it raises its invoices or bills. The address should suffice the requirement of all tax related requirements. Country. Select the country of the address entered above. State. Select from the drop down the state of the address entered above. City. Select from the drop down the city of the address entered above. PIN. Input here the required PIN or ZIP to identify the relevant address. PHONE. Input here the most relevant contact number. EMAIL. 
input here the most relevant email address of the vendor. Longitude and Latitude. Input here the vendor location via Google Maps to locate the vendor easily. Shipping Address. Enter the address from which the goods are generally dispatched by the vendor. If the billing address and shipping address is the same, you can copy the same by clicking on Copy from Billing. Otherwise, fill the shipping address information in the same way as filled for the billing address. 3. Digital. It is of great significance to fill in the relevant social profile information for the vendor so that you can follow up with his ongoing offers and promotions. Website. Input here the relevant web page address of the vendor. Facebook. Input here the Facebook account or page of the vendor. Skype. Input here the relevant Skype ID of the vendor. Twitter. Input here the Twitter account name of the vendor. LinkedIn. Input here the LinkedIn ID for the vendor. Four. Statutory. GST number. Input here the GST number for the vendor. CIN. Input here the registration number of the vendor provided by the regulatory authority. Example, company identification number, CIN, should be entered in case the company is registered under the Registrar of Companies, PAN. Input here the permanent account number, PAN, or tax identification number, TIN. TDS applicable. If you need to deduct tax at source on bills raised by this vendor, keep this option on. This will help you as a reminder towards your statutory compliances while making vendor payments. TDS section. If you have kept TDS applicable on, the system will ask for the relevant section of the Income Tax Act under which TDS is applicable. Select the relevant section. 5. Defaults. Payment term. Payment terms usually differ from vendor to vendor. Select the terms you agreed with the vendor. You are able to create a new payment milestone by clicking on the plus option. A dialog box will appear with options where you can customise terms based on fixed days or as a payment cycle. Name. Input here a name for the payment term. Example, advance, progressive, retention, etc. Code. Input here a four-digit code, example 0001. Fixed days. Keep this on if you want to fix the credit period in days period. Number of fixed days. Input here the credit days allowed as agreed with the vendor, example 60. Payment cycle. This option will automatically become on if your payment term is not fixed days. Run on. If payment cycle is on, select the cycle from the drop-down list. Example, weekly, bi-monthly or monthly. Price category. Select from the drop-down a relevant price category if your vendors are maintaining different price categories. You can create a new category by clicking on the plus option. Agent broker. Select the specific agent or broker allocated to the vendor account. This option appears if you have, during the company setup, kept the configuration, then company, then setup, then purchase setup, agent-wise billing in on mode. You can create a new agent by clicking on the plus option. Transporter. Select from the drop-down the relevant transporter through whom the vendor will be delivering the goods. You can create a new transporter by clicking on the plus option. Credit limit. Input here the credit limit, if any, set by the vendor for you. 6. 
bank details, bank name. Select the relevant bank of the vendor. You can create a new one by clicking on the plus option. Branch. Input here the branch name of the bank where the vendor is having an account. Account number. Input here the bank account number of the vendor. Account type. Select account type, for example, savings, current, etc. IFSC code. Input here the RTGS or IFSC code for the selected bank or branch. 7. User defined fields, UDF. You can set user defined fields in company configuration, configuration, then company setup, then purchase setup, then vendor custom fields. Assuming you have applied this option, you'll be asked to key in the specific details you want to capture. Click on Save to save the values. Click on Exit to exit from the new vendor form. We are now done with the new vendor creation and back to the main screen for the vendor. If you wish to edit or delete the already visible vendor data in the list, you can do so. Edit. Click on the pencil icon to edit the vendor information. You can make the required changes and save. Delete. Click delete if you want to delete a vendor. If you have created a sub-party under a vendor, the system will not allow to delete this record unless you delete all the sub-parties created under this. Export. Click on the Excel icon to export the data as visible in the list to an Excel spreadsheet. Search. Type in the blank space provided in the search box to search a vendor name. If you are looking for any particular bill or voucher, enter here a text or a number matching to the description, voucher type, party or amount. The system will shortlist the bills or vouchers with matching text. Group. If you want to group your display on any particular field, hold that field and drag a little up outside the grid. Your display will be grouped on that field. To remove the grouping, drag the field back into the grid column. Sort. If you want to sort data on a particular field, click on the label of that field. Your data will be sorted on that field. You can reverse the order of sorting by just double-clicking on the label of that particular field. As mentioned in the beginning, creation of Vendor Master is a one-time, crucial activity. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give us a shout for help. Happy aligning!